Hi, my name is Marnie Dunning and I'm part of Instructional Services here at Gus Davis. In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to get started using Duo Two-Factor Authentication. Two-Factor Authentication adds an extra layer of security to your Gus Davis account. In addition to your password, you will need either a mobile device, a hardware token or a fob, or your office phone to verify your identity when logging into your account. To show you an example of what the two-factor authentication looks like, I'm going to go ahead and log in to my Gus Davis account on the Gus Davis webpage. After I type in my username and my password, this is what Duo looks like. I have it set up to automatically send me a push to my cell phone, but you can choose your options here in the enrollment process. What happens on my screen is I get a notification allowing me to approve or disapprove this login. When I click approve on my phone, it lets me into the system. Let's walk through the process of enrolling yourself into the Duo Two-Factor Authentication. First, you'll want to visit the Gus Davis webpage. Then, you'll want to go up to the user icon in the upper right-hand corner and click that to log into the Gus Davis webpage. Go ahead and log in with your username and your password. Once you are on the website, you will notice your face may appear up here if you have a photo in with your user information. When I click on that, I want to navigate down to Gus Davis User Settings. From here on the left-hand side, I want to go down to where it says Two-Factor Authentication. Now I am ready to start my activation. So on this screen, I'm going to go ahead and follow the prompts that are on the screen. So I'm going to click Start Setup. Now you need to decide which device you would like to use for your authentication. In this video tutorial, we will show you how to activate a mobile device and a landline, which might be your office phone. So what I'm going to do in this first part of the video is I'm going to choose my mobile phone. Now you're going to want to get out your mobile device, whether you have an Android or an iPhone, and you're going to want to go to the App Store, look for the app called Duo Mobile and begin downloading that app. So I'm going to choose mobile phone and I'm going to click on continue. On this step, select the type of mobile device you are going to install this on, so iPhone, Android, Blackberry, Windows Phone, or other, and press continue. The next screen will ask you to install the Duo Mobile app for your device. If you already have it installed, go ahead and press I have Duo Mobile installed and open the Duo Mobile app on your device. The next screen will come up with a QR code. On your phone, it may ask you if you will allow Duo Mobile to have access to your camera. Click OK to allow the camera. And then face your phone to the QR code and your phone should go to the next step. So here I can see I have activated my iOS with my cell phone number. If I want to, I can go into the device options. So I can reactivate it or I can change the device name. And you'll notice down here are my default settings. So my default device is the only device hooked up at this moment, which is my iOS. And when I log in, I can choose to have it ask me for an authentication method, automatically send me a push, or automatically call the device. If you have a preference one way or the other, you can select it. Otherwise, you can choose to have it ask. I'm going to go ahead and add another device. And this time, I'm going to add in my office telephone number. So I'm going to click on Add Another Device, I'm going to choose Landline, and I'm going to click on Continue. So this one I put in my office phone, and there is no extension so I don't need to add that, and then I verify again my office phone, and I click on Continue. At this point again, what is the default device? I can choose now either my iOS or my Landline and what I want the authentication to be. I'm just going to leave it as my iOS and choose my authentication method. And I'm going to go ahead and continue to log in. So now we are ready to see how Duo Two-Factor will work. So now that I've put in two devices, when I log in, you'll notice here I can choose my device. I'm going to choose my iPhone at this point, And I can choose to have a push, call me, or put in a passcode. I'm going to show you the Duo Push. So I'm going to click on Send Me a Push. And on my mobile device, the Duo Mobile app will pop up with the notification. I click on the notification and I click Approve to log in. I'm going to go ahead and sign out and walk you through another option. 
And this time, I'm going to go ahead and use my mobile device again, but I'm going to have it call me. My cell phone rings. I answer the call. Welcome to Goose Talks two-factor authentication powered by Juno. If you were not expecting this call, please hang up. Otherwise, press any key on your phone to log in. Thank you. Goodbye. And I'm logged in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and log out, and I'm going to show you how you can use the passcode. So this time, if I want to use the passcode, I go ahead and click on Enter a Passcode. I open up the Duo Mobile app on my mobile device, and I click the key to the right of Gus Davis Adolphus College, and it will give me a key code within there. I go ahead and type in that key code, which will be something different each time, and I can go ahead and click on Login. I'm going to go ahead again and log off. Since I have two devices set up, this time I will use my office phone to log in. And this time I will choose my landline. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and choose to call me. My office phone will ring, and much like the message it gave me on my cell phone, I listen to the message and I push any button to continue logging in and I'm logged into the system. A couple of tips about logging in using your Duo authentication. If you'd like it to remember you for 15 days, you can check this option and choose one of these options and it will do that for the next 15 days. Just remember to choose the correct device and the right option you'd like and it will continue doing that for 15 days. Other options that you can change is once you've gotten into the system, you can also go up to your user information icon and go to Gus Davis user settings and then when you click on two-factor authentication you can change your options in here as well so I can authenticate with a push to my cell phone first and then I can add in any more devices or change my default and my default login method if I want to. If you should have any questions please contact the GTS helpline at 507-993-6111 or at helpline at gustavis.edu. Thanks so much!